Align to Glyph Bounds is another new and very useful feature to be added to Illustrator. If you want to find out what it is and how to use it, you're in the right place. And that would be here in the Work Smarter Not Harder Dojo with me, Tony Harmer, aka The Design Ninja. Alright, so in the document I have here, I have a few different objects. I'm going to zoom out slightly just for the moment so I can select this text here. It's a point text object and you can see that the actual M box from this font is really, really large. So if I hold down the shift key and click on this ellipse down at the bottom of the artboard, I'm then going to go back to the text and click on it to make it a key object, meaning the ellipse will align to that text and then choose to align top, you'll see that the object aligns to the top of the M box. And similarly, if I chose to align bottom, it will align to the bottom of the M box. Well, that's not what I actually want. What I'd like to do is align this to the top of the characters. And that's where the first part of this new feature comes in. So to make this easier for you to see, what I'm going to do is get the actual align panel out because even though I can use the control strip at the top and the properties panel, it's probably easier to show you here. Now what I can do is go to the fly out menu from the align panel and you'll see this new command align to glyph bounds. And we have it for point text and area text and you can have both switched on if you want. I'll choose point text for now and I'll select the text and then hold down shift, select the ellipse. And once again, I'll make the text a key object by simply clicking on it. You don't need to hold down any key for that. And then I'll just choose a line top. And you see now this is a different experience because it actually aligns with the glyphs at the top. So if I just deselect here and then holding down shift, drag the ellipse across, okay, so that we can see it constrained. It is meeting the top of that geometry, which is exactly what I'm after. So it's a very useful thing to have if you do want to align to the characters themselves. But what about area text? Well, it's a similar thing here. If I go ahead and choose align to glyph bounds area text, and I'll select this small triangle here, that I have. Let me just move the ellipse out of the way for the moment. I'll select the small triangle and then I'm going to select the area text and once again click on it again to make it a key object. If I choose a line top without the area text option being on, okay, so if I turn that off and do that again, you'll see it aligns to the top of the area text. But with that on, as you've just seen, if I then choose that, it aligns to this top line. Now that's really useful, especially if the area text is not a regular shape like this, because to be honest, you could align the two things together and then use your arrow keys to nudge the shape up and down to get it to where you wanted it to go. But let me just change this a bit by rotating the area text around like so. So that's kind of an interesting shape there and I'll bring that over this way. In fact, you know what? I'm going to precisely or more or less precisely align this to this edge here. Let's have a little bit of extra learning. I'll just tap R to get my rotate tool and make sure this box remains selected. Okay. And then click on this top point here and then swing that in like so. There we go. That's pretty much it just there. All right, so now I'd like this leading arrow to align with the text. Well, if I select both things, making sure again that align to glyph bounds and area text is turned on. If I go ahead and use the top alignment there and then maybe the left alignment. Whoops, a daisy, I had the box there. Let me just make it key. Left alignment, you can see that it's aligning to the left of the text here and the top line. Really, really handy. And there we go. That's the new Align to Glyph Bounds feature in Illustrator. And I'll see you next time here in the Work Smarter Not Harder Dojo. See ya.